KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Department of Mathematics. Now let me see the mechanics. Unit 1 and 2. Mechanics is defined as the branch of science which describes and predicts the conditions of rest of mo rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. Engineering mechanics applies the principle of mechanics to design, taking into account the effects of forces. Statics deals with the condition of equilibrium of bodies acting upon the forces. Then next we say that the uh, forces acting at a point resultant and components if two or more forces f1 f2 f3 etc act on a rigid body and a single force r can be found whose effect on the body is the same as that of all the forces f1 f2 f3 etc put together then the single force r is called the resultant of the forces f1 f2 f3 etc and the forces f1 f2 etc are called the components of the forces then next we see the, the Lamy's theorem if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium each force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the other two then parallel forces and moments like and unlike parallel forces are defined as two parallel forces are said to be like when they act in the same direction they are said to be unlike when they act in the opposite direction moment of a force the moment of a force about a point is defined to be the product of the force and the perpendicular distance between the point from the line of action of the force then let me define the friction when a body slide or tends to slide on a surface which is at resting a resisting force opposing the motion is produced at the contact force surface this resisting force is called the friction or frictional force then limiting friction is defined as the maximum friction force that can be developed at the contact surface when body is just on the point of moving is called the limiting force of friction then types of friction static friction friction experienced by a body when it is at rest is called static friction dynamic friction friction experienced by a body when it is motion is called dynamic friction sliding friction friction experienced by a body when it slides over a, another body is called limiting friction rolling friction friction experienced by a body when it rolls over another body is called rolling friction then let me see the angle of friction the angle between the normal reaction a and the resultant force r is called the angle of friction it is also called the limiting angle of friction then next we see the, the important laws of friction laws of static friction are the friction force always act in a direction opposite to that in which the body tends to move the magnitude of friction force is equal to the external force that is f equal to p the ratio of limiting friction on the normal normal reaction is constant that is f by n equal to mu the friction force does not depends upon the area area of the contact between the two surfaces the friction force depends upon the roughness of the surfaces